Most celebs don't go into show business because they're good at math, but some of them are surprisingly skilled at practicing awkward relationship geometry, which is why so many of them find themselves entangled in complex love triangles. Just like all those 8th grade algebra equations you can't remember, here are some messy love triangles celebs want you to forget. Angelina's First Long Division Test Everyone knows about the legendary love triangle of Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, and his first wife Jennifer Aniston. The ripple effects of that rift are still rumbling throughout the celeb sphere. Before that, though, the acclaimed actress was at the center of yet another bitter Hollywood breakup. Jolie's second marriage to Billy Bob Thornton was allegedly a huge surprise to his then-girlfriend Laura Dern, who said she was shocked to discover her beau when it got hitched to the blood-vile-wielding actress behind her back. Dern told reporters that she was jilted by her longtime fella while she was off shooting a movie on location, explaining in an interview, quote, "...while I was away, my boyfriend got married and I've never heard from him again." End quote. The whirlwind romance wasn't a lasting formula, though. Jolie and Thornton called it quits in 2003, despite their original plans to adopt her first son Maddox together. The Hip Hop Bed Hop the rap scene was abuzz when hip-hop star ASAP Rocky was rumored to have stepped out on Victoria's Secret model Chanel Iman for his Diamonds tour partner Rihanna in 2013, but the lyric slinger assured fans that their relationship was purely platonic. Once he and Iman called off their engagement in 2015, though, the buzz began anew that he and Rihanna had taken things to another level. But the rapper still insisted that the reason he and Iman only moved to Splitsville is because, he said, she deserves better than me. But that didn't do much to stifle the gossip. One plus two equals what, mathletes? That's right, a zero. Boy, bye! Forget about the saga of Becky with the good hair. Let's talk about Lyndall Locke, who's better known as Beyoncé Knowles' ex than his own name. Locke dated Beyoncé for years during her teens and has never made any bones about the fact that he regrets losing the love of his life to Sean Jay-Z Carter. To hear the rumor mill spin, Locke may have been more involved in the married couple's early love story than they ever let on. In a biographical tell-all book, celeb writer J. Randy Terraborelli revealed that even when Carter began courting Knowles back in their earliest days in 2001, she was still not completely done with her first flame. Even his mother contributed to the story by saying there was a lot of gray area in the timeline between the start of Knowles' relationship with Carter and the end of her sweetheart status with Locke. In either case, Locke's left kicking himself over his loss because, let's face it, this is Beyonce we're talking about. Jay-Z's a lucky dude. I mean, he's got a good one. It's the climb. Before the Hunger Games hunk, Liam Hemsworth called it quits with his then fiance and former The Last Song co-star Miley Cyrus, he was rumored to show some interest in Mad Men star January Jones. Jones's rep denied she had any part in the ending of Cyrus and Hemsworth's longtime relationship. But the fact that the two were spotted leaving an Oscars party together and he was said to be sexting her shortly before the pair's breakup announcement certainly raised some eyebrows. All's well that ends well, though, because Cyrus and Hemsworth rekindled their off-screen romance in early 2016. What happens in Canada stays in Canada. This one's so complicated, it's more of a love rectangle. Or a love parallelogram or something. Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart may have found immortal love on screen in The Twilight Saga, but their behind-the-scenes story was a little more human. There was the time she was caught swapping spit with her married Snow White and the Huntsman director Rupert Sanders, which made her the newest villain of The Twilight Love Story. But before Stewart was supposedly hooking up with Sanders, Pattinson was at the center of his own rumored dalliance that was a little less mainstream. Pattinson was reportedly linked to Cosmopolis director David Cronenberg's daughter Caitlin Cronenberg during production on the film in Toronto in 2011, while he was still said to be dating Stewart. Although the rumors of their connection were immediately denied, Pattinson was again linked to the photographer during the Toronto production on Maps to the Stars. He and Stewart were long since donezo by then, so maybe there was no bad blood after all. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which love triangles we should have added to the list.